Hey, welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Dub, and I am sitting here with my co-host. And this is the Herbal Tea Podcast. We come to talk our shit, man. Just put it together, man. Just um, come here for a little hour, man. Just kick it with y'all, man. So, man, thank y'all for showing up. Call, man, and y'all can call in, too. Uh, what's that number, Rita D? You can call 248-854-9850. Man, definitely call in, talk y'all shit. If we talking about something that y'all want to talk about or y'all have an opinion on, we definitely looking forward to hearing from y'all. So, Sharita D, how your weekend been, man? Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, man, definitely. Happy Mother's Day yeah, to all the lovely man. ladies. Definitely, man, man. This is this is a day, you know, even, even on Father's Day, they be like, well, there's some mothers out here that's good dad, better dad, you know, all that shit. But we definitely, man. Man, I'm going to salute to the, all the great, phenomenal black queens out here that's really doing it right now. Sometimes we've been unfortunate enough to not have the dad in the life like, you know, we want to. And y'all definitely stand up. Um, I'm going to give a quick story about my mama. Um, I remember back in the day, my mama used to get off work from the post office at about probably about six o'clock in the morning. Come home. Wake me up. She'll go outside while I'm taking a shower, shovel the snow. And so when she come in from shoveling the snow, she'll iron my clothes, make me an egg sandwich, and then take me to school, my baby. So it don't wow. get no stronger than that. When you coming from looking at that type of, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It, 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 that's the type of woman I would want, man. So definitely shout out, man. Happy Mother's Day. And we, I like to hear a story from about your mom's uh you know, something crazy. I love your mama, too. Man, my mom is so phenomenal. Anybody that knows me knows that she's the number one. Even with my siblings, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it. My mother's strength is just so unbelievable. Sometimes, you know how people always say, well, I got the best mom or my mom is the best. I really, truly believe that God has positioned everybody to have the best mom. Yeah. I really feel like she was handpicked for us. My mom, she has, man, weathered the storm. When I tell you her faith is unbelievable, yeah. I do feel like my mom was definitely a praying mom, mm. especially with raising me and my, you know, my oldest brother. Definitely. My sisters were kind of a little bit easier mm. or maybe she knew what she was doing. We was like kind of her test kids. But one crazy story about my mom um, would definitely be my mom. She doesn't drive now. Okay. So anytime we get in the car, she always want to tell you how to drive. Mm. She want to say, slow down, speed up, <laughs> get over, turn, back make a right. Make a right. <laughs> yeah, she a backseat driver. Yeah. However, that just goes to show how nurturing she is. Is and she definitely doesn't want anything to happen to us. So shout out to my mom. I love her. Happy shout Mother's Day. Moms, man. And shout out to the people who lost their mothers, such as I. Um, I know it's a tough day to go through. Sometimes we try to hide away from the day and get through the day as tough as we can. Man, you know, we go on Facebook, social media and things, and we see people that's posting, you know, pictures of their mom and, you know, them enjoying this day with them. So I definitely want to shout out to y'all, man. I'm definitely, you know, we smile to hide our frowns. So definitely. Absolutely. Too, I couldn't imagine. So. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers in heaven looking down on us. So how was your weekend this, this weekend, Miss Rita? D? How, what did you do? Man, I, my I, weekend was off the chain. Off the chain, talk to me. My weekend was off the chain. Okay, so I'm going to hit this verses in a minute because yeah. that battle was ridiculous. I loved it. However, um, my family, we decided to get together today after o over a year. Wow. Of us not being around each other. Had y'all away from each other. Wow. It did. Close. And we are really close. My family is really, 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 really close. So to see them today was kind of emotional because this was the first time that we've all been in one house. Oh, wow. That be just fulfilling, like a feeling that you can't describe right there. And it yeah. just... Man, it just it opened up my eyes to how much family, how important family is. I mean, we can make it with our immediate family. Yeah. But we need those cousins and aunts and yeah. uncles and brothers and sisters. Yeah. We need to reach out and touch somebody. Laugh and just feel energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That family yeah. energy, man, is definitely is. Um, I, yeah. But uh, I had a good time this weekend, man. I was your, I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to snitch to our audience, man, but. I was over your house last night watching the SWV with you and your people. Yes. Um, man, hey. Yes. Y'all took me, I forgot the hits. And I didn't know Candy them had, Candy had that many hits. You know, and, um, what? I'm not, I don't really want to say who won or who lost, but I know that one thing, Escape got some shit out hey. there, man. I ain't mad. Hey. I know you text WV. They talented them big tall stallions. Hey, but man. what did you think oh. about the Yeah, that big black tall motherfuckers. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't take my eyes off the camera. Yeah. Well, shout out to Mika and Escape. What's up? Shout out to Escape. Yeah. Tiny dick. Listen, Tiny, yeah. Candy, Tasha, Tamika, all of them. They was yeah. good. I mean, Tiny, yeah. that her voice. 
ridiculous. Her range is ridiculous. Candy, she's ridiculous. I mean, I felt like SWV were they were saved by the bell so many times by Coco. I feel like Coco. She go dish the tea on the man. Coco went out there and hit that Patty Labelle song. She did a show that's like that, and that's when I knew that Coco should have been a part of Escape. Oh, that would have been a good. Who, sh- who would have you would have took out if you would have put Coco in? Tasha. You would have took Tasha out? Yeah. She got on her knees last night, was singing to the crowd. She hey. Took him, you would have took her out? Yeah. It would have been Tamika, mm-hmm. Candy, yeah. Tiny, and Coco. And Coco. Because Tiny and um, Candy, them writers, they don't, that's that oh, bad. Yeah. And you know what? You get oh, so yeah. used to watching them on TV, you forget the real talent that they have. And that gave a chance for a lot of the kids, you know what I'm saying, that didn't grow up listening to mm-hmm. that. Kick off your shoes and relax, relax your feet. feet. Yeah, Party yeah. on down to the... They don't remember going to Bella with your little chicken. Nope. Y'all just having a good time mm-hmm. for that day sitting mm-hmm. by the water. So, yeah, Who can man. I run to? Man, when I need love. Man. Maybe y'all about you to just just run <laughs> to the arms hey. of the one who hey. you never have to work when they hit that. You never have like, to worry. You be like, man. Okay. All right, there it man. Is. Well, this is Double T Podcast, man. I got a couple questions. She got a couple questions. We just discuss stuff, man. So, um, my Don't forget first, to call in, though. Man, make sure y'all call in at the number. Um, 248-854-9850. Hey, all right. My first question is, should married women hang with single women, travel, et cetera? Should married women? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why, why wouldn't they? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you, listen. I mean, because, you know, sometimes when y'all be going on them trips, it don't be the... You know what I'm saying? Y'all, whatever on the trip, stay on the trip. So Yeah, shit, of course. Shit. So you done did this before with your homegirls, but now that you married, should you still be going to enjoy that? You yes, know, still why going? wouldn't I? Okay, I'm not. All right. I feel like all women should have an annual trip with their girls, mm. whether they're married, single, divorced, yeah, this, this engaged. That, that, that yeah. is your friend. I'm not going to change. Okay, so when you get married, yes, I do think that you're going to change. I do think that Definitely. some of the things that you, you used to do, you're not going to do anymore. Mm-hmm. However, I don't believe that because I'm married and you're not that I can't hang with you. That doesn't dictate what I'm going to do. Right. That's real shit. I mean, but do you mind a guy's trip? Or Yes, I do. Yeah. Would you trust? How long can he go for? <laughs> A weekend. A weekend. He can't get he a week. For, he nah. can't get a week. The weekend start on Friday and it ends on Sunday. <laughs> he gotta be home. See you on Sunday, baby. The planes only come on early on Sunday. That's a bug. That's it. Nigga you gonna take the red eye out on Friday night. Oh man, that's crazy, man. But um, a lot of men have problems. I think I don't know. Sometimes, do you think that? Being around single women can fuck up your judgment as far as just you being... Now, even though your relationship is solid, it still gives it that... What well, I'm, if, wait, I'm single, so I'm speaking from a single perspective. But you've been in a good relationship, you know, okay. a strong relationship. Yeah. And, you know, what, you know, we know when you get in a strong relationship, your relationship with your friends change. You know what I'm saying? You're mm-hmm. not hanging with them all the time. You're not kicking it with them all the time. Right. You're not, you know what I'm saying? you with your spouse, more or less. So do you think that... That would be healthy, though. How many trips would y'all take? Or? I said an annual growth trip. Maybe once a year. I think it could last for five to seven days. Okay, but he can only go for the weekend. He can only go for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> y'all hear that, fellas? Man, that's crazy, man. All right. And it starts on Friday and ends on Sunday. All right, let me ask you this question. It's kind of deep. Um, does telling the truth make you a bad person? No, telling the truth makes you an awesome person. I think, I mean, as far as just relationships and just with people, period, as far as just like, you know, sometimes when you tell somebody the truth and they really wasn't ready for it, you know what I'm saying, and they look at you, I mean, does that make you, you know, well, some people be scared to lash out when you tell the truth all the time, like far as friendship, not even not even just good friends, you know, good friends going to tell each other whatever, but do you think like sometimes you withhold something just so they, to, so, to so you would spare your feelings? Yeah, spare okay. their feelings. So, I used to feel that way. I used to, um, I used to not, with friendships, it's, it depends on the friends. You really have to pick what you say to certain friends, of course. Yeah. Because you, you want to make sure that what you're saying that it doesn't hurt them, but you also want to be true in a sense or in the fact that 
you have their best interests. Right, at right. You want to make sure, heart. like, yes. nigga, I'm trying to get this message across to your ass. Absolutely. But, speak, but and that's the hardest part when your friend is failing at something, and you mm-hmm. know they're fa- <clears throat> that they're failing because of what they're doing, their actions. Right. You be like, damn, nigga, just get right. this shit together. Like, yeah. I keep telling you the same thing, and sometimes people, you know, they got to bump their own head, man. But in regards to being truthful and things like that, I think that you should always tell the truth. I think that you should give that person an option on what they can deal with and what they can't. But as long as you told me the truth, I can't be mad at you for that. That's real shit, man. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever been cheated on and stayed? I have. Man. And it was hard. Um... Man, but you I mean, you heard me say earlier I was single, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, just, but, yeah, it was hard. I mean, because when you love somebody and you care about somebody, you want to think that they would not hurt you. Yeah. You want to believe that they're not going to put you in a situation that is going to hurt them. Because when I'm with somebody, anything that hurts them, it physically affects me. It hurts me as yeah. well. You feel so, that connection have you like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, And I do believe that men don't want to cheat. I feel like sometimes the temptation is just yeah. so ridiculous that they that, just um, I think go it into it. Stems from a friendship. I think that um, you cheat. You, you got to make your wife or your woman your best friend, and um, you got to. You got to because friendship is everything. Because at the end of the day, when you just get married, you just che- you cheat on your wife, but you don't cheat and hurt your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That that be the common clause. That be the clause that be like you know what I ain't gonna even fuck make my girl feel like that because I don't because I care about her enough. And as uh, far as me, I had to grow as a man enough to understand that stop being selfish, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even though people that hurt you in your past, you still got to look at the world like, nigga, everybody not out to get you. There's some people out here that care about you and love you. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and just jumping out here and just cheating just because you can and and get the nut and, you know, the bitch on your dick so you just want to go fuck her and shit. That mm-hmm. shit adds up to bodies on your belt and, and spirits that's in you. You know what I'm saying? That Man. you become attached Speak on to. It. Speak you know on what I'm saying? Spirits. And that shit will bring you down. We spiritual warfare. Anybody. Speak on that spirit. So that's why some people need to get them a new mattress because it's too <laughs> many spirits on that boy. On that hey, boy, but boy. I did ask Facebook the other day like, hey, could y'all help me get a mattress because these mattresses is high. Oh, man, I they high. Look, so, oh, everything high, man. Everything is nigga, high. Niggas like, nigga, they got that check, nigga. We, hey, hey, yo, you want a house now? Nigga, 500000 Nigga, you we wear us? a song. Nigga, Euclid. Nigga, Mac. Nigga, we niggas. making up our own stuff. Last night, after the verses, y'all, we did karaoke, and we did not even have a machine. They didn't have a machine. They didn't have a machine. <laughs> we did karaoke. They didn't have a machine. We put on songs we knew already. And if you yeah. didn't know, we, yeah. mm, mm, nigga, just hum that we just hummed that you, part. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Which brings me into one of my first questions that I have to ask Dub. Mm-hmm. So, being in a relationship, and I'm not sure if you're in a relationship, kind of, you know, Look. don't want to even pry into your business because I don't want you to even put that on the platform. Yeah. But are you willing to stop being friends with one of your friends if your girl doesn't like that person or feel like you guys are too close or feel like y'all been friends too long and mm. she doesn't believe that it's platonic and nothing has happened? You talking about with a female friend? Yeah. With my girl or my wife? Like, what's the one? Like, I mean, you can take somebody who I'm with for somebody like a, who you're five with. Year relationship. Yeah, yeah, she, I'm, I'm gonna stop fucking with her like that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm gonna cut her off completely, but my woman come first. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to seem like no simp or no shit like that, mm-hmm. but at the same time, my house got to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want a woman or nobody coming and destroying that happiness because when happy mm-hmm. wife, happy life, and that shit is true, man. Okay, you know so if she's not your wife, you're going to cut off your friends? If I stay with her, I'm not going to cut my friend off because my friend is my friend. Cause I, right. But the type of bit, type of women that I fuck with, they won't even ask me to do nothing unless they suspected something. So I always make sure, you know what I'm saying, that it's, it's not in there but man what would you do what if your man wanted to cut the <laughs> old boy off man, this motherfucker. we talking about okay so a lot of my a lot of my exes is my friends right so are you saying like is this somebody that you've never had like a sexual sexual relationship with or is it just a friend let's just say it's somebody you fucked before but y'all just cool as fuck now you know what i'm saying you will cut that off. And my mate had a problem with it? Yeah, he like, man, I, you, but you was told him the truth. Like, we fucked 10 years ago, but at the same time, it's not nothing now. We just been cool, platonic. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you would have to. Because I'm not believing that I shit. Would. I'm going to believe that nigga still trying to smash. I I'm would be cut watching. him off. Yeah, you have to. My relationship is going to... 
all my relationships mean the world to me. Yeah. So of course I would. But if I fucked you before, I'm gonna cut you off of my wife. You know what I'm saying, my girl? If we ain't never fucked, you my friend. You know what I'm saying? But if we fucked and she don't want you around, man, just I'm gonna have to fuck with you every now and then. So do you think it's okay, or do you? Why is it okay that women always want to confront the side piece? They feelings be hurt, emotions, um, they can't control the motherfuckers. That's why a lot of me people say women can't be in leadership, which I don't believe. But you better emotions, not. But yeah. <laughs> but emotions take over. You know what I'm saying? That's just like that's with anybody, but with women, y'all sit on it because like I said, emotionally, y'all can't sit there and just take it and be like, okay, I'm gonna get revenge or I'm a I can wait it out. Y'all just wanna react right then and there. You know yeah. I think that most women, they wanna know what's going on. They wanna know that they want to know the extent of the relationship. They want to know who pursued who. They want to know why you around. They want to know if you knew about me. I mean, at our age now, I don't think that that's okay. However, I, I, I have checked somebody before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've checked somebody before, and I ain't going to say I ain't going to do it again. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to do it again, but No, nah, man, because sometimes you be see, as a nigga, though. Because some people don't know their place, and they yeah. don't stay in their lane, and that's when it's a problem. Yeah. Like, my thing is, like, okay, so if I'm married, mm. of course I can't just divorce you tomorrow. Yeah. I might make it work, but you're not going to keep I calling. Gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ringing yeah, the yeah. phone. She like, bitch, where he at? You're going to be like, man, come on, leave us alone. Yeah. Yes, go on about your business, <laughs> Becky. But you know, man, sometimes in the relationships that uh, um, we do conf confront the other person because we want to blame the other person so much, like we this do. person didn't really mean to hurt we do. me bad. Let me we do. just cuss and go crazy on the we side do. piece. No, but it's, it's not their fault. You, sometimes the person that you land next to can be your enemy. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and we, and a lot of times, we we think love over that, but it don't be that. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Yeah, man. So, what about? Why do you? What do you feel about long distance relationships, man? And what's the distance? What's the furthest distance that you could handle as far as being in a long distance relationship? Of course, we got you can FaceTime now. You can do all that now. But, it, but what's the furthest that you will go as far as just far the long distance relationship? It's not, it's not gonna work for me because I don't really want to go from the east side to the west. <laughs> so it's not gonna long distance is not gonna work for me. I need to be able to see you. I need to see you. It ain't gonna work for me. Hey, hey, hey. It's not far oh, at all. I did a long distance relationship, man. It was cool, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? And I know I'm gonna sound like a lame and simp, but I ain't even cheat on her or nothing. I was just like, fuck it. Well, how far saying? was it? It, it, it was long, it was far away. It was far away, like Mississippi right there. Man. <laughs> She and cheated I'm, all on you. Man, no, she didn't. If she, yes, did, she did, bitch, I'm going to come bust your windows out when I come Might down Might as well there, go and bust them windows out. <laughs> Get ready. Man, make sure y'all call in, man. What's the number over there? 248 854 9850. 9850, man, definitely. Hey, man. so which do you think was hyper? Cinco de Mayo or St. Patrick's Day? Man, I was at work on both. <laughs> so I'm on my low, so I don't really know, but I, I usually celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That's like the first kind of warm day, you know what I'm saying? It'd be yeah. like 60 in the daytime. You know, you can Only drink. On that and, day, though. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it'd be Sunday out every time. You can mm -hmm. drink and chill and have a good time, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, St. Patrick's Day. That's really probably my favorite holidays. But one holiday I do want to pump up now is this Juneteenth. Juneteenth shit. Friday. I'm on that shit. That's you know what gonna I'm be saying? the live. That's, that's that's where I'm about to put my you know that's when put my shit on. Yeah. And, and get fuck all so that. So do that's you mean shit. we not gonna celebrate Fourth of July? We definitely going to celebrate you know, any day America that we ain't got to work and can drink, nigga, and barbecue, hey, nigga. would you say it? <laughs> hey, so don't be out there talking about, hey, we celebrate 4th of July. No, I'm celebrating. Because I'm celebrating every yeah. day. But Juneteenth, I'm going to go get me an outfit. You know what I'm hey, saying? I'm, I I'm swear. Try, you know what I'm I got about that. seven shirts yeah. last year during the pandemic on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Black, black. Yeah, that's fish, gonna be something. With yeah, the yeah, yep, all that. Yep. Black Panther, yeah, and everything. They got the Medidas too. As what's the names of all the African boys? But yeah, I'm definitely gonna celebrate. Um, Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, man. But see the whole thing. All right, let me ask you: Is this is quality of life more important, or is length of life more important? That's a deep question. That's I mean. a real deep question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's quality. Quality life, cause, or cause length. We, quality. Yeah, quality. Yeah, because, you know, like if you can live to be, let's say if you can live to be 70, you know what I'm saying? But your quality of life is duh. Or you can live to be 50 
and you done lived the best fucking life. Absolutely. You, which 50. one you would pick? I'm picking 50, only You'll for the simple 50. fact that... Um, but out of them 70, you can make your life how you want to, but the 50 guarantee... But you said that the quality is not going to be good. So the quality... Mm. I mean, you, you want to have an impact. You want to be influential on somebody. You want some... You're, Listen, we're writing our obituaries every day. Oh, man. Talk to Every him. day. So with that being said, you want to be known and remembered as something other than your kids just taking on your last name? Yeah, that's real shit. So it's going to be quality for me. Yeah, I'm going to take um quality too, man, because I don't want to live no longer. I mean, I, I I can live off life and probably probably make it far as me, but that 50 years of just a good-ass life, man, I'll definitely take that, man. Absolutely. Hell yeah. So uh, if you live in... Let's say if you are you living if you don't have everything you need, like what is the what is the what is the point of like where like if you don't have everything you need, where where are you in life? Like are you existing? What is that point? In regards to everything you need. Yeah, if you don't have everything you need, what is what is Well, I'm really simple. Only thing that I, I really absolutely need mm -hmm. is a vehicle so I can get back and forth to work. Yeah. A place to you know rest my head at night, mm. lights, gas, you yeah. know things like that. I'm not, I don't, I don't have to. And when I say a vehicle, I don't have to drive Audi or. But Beamer. you do have a class that you still want to keep, though. You Absolutely. still have that. Absolutely. So if a, your partner come in and doesn't want what you want, is that an automatic deal breaker to you? As far as like, if you like, baby, I want to flip this crib in five years and go to you know what I'm saying. Let's say Bloomfield or whatever, wherever we gonna be at. And he like, no, nah, baby, I don't really want to do all that. I really want to be, I'm cool and settled here. I mean, I know they got the unequally yoke. I'm, well, I don't know how to say the shit. My bad. I apologize if I messed it up. I'm smoking. But what if you have a partner that don't have the same goals that you as goals are goals as you? Is that something? That's gonna be a real quick relationship. Um, I think that when you are trying to settle down with somebody or you trying to you know you're finding a mate you guys talk about things like that so yeah. at the beginning during the middle at the end my problem used to be me not telling a person what i wanted at the you know up front yeah so now you gotta you gonna you know, know what, what i want up front and that used to be scary like because i did. want them to like me like nigga, i want you to like me so and not saying i'm perpetrating and saying i'm something yeah. i'm not i'm just saying that i'm i could chameleon myself where i don't have to i can I was yeah. appeasing the people who I liked and really wasn't caring about myself. Right, absolutely. And, that, and that's the death of any relationship because absolutely. I'm coming in being weak. Now, <laughs> being the less. I'd rather you leave me yeah. before it even get to that point yeah. where I don't even know what I want or who yeah. I am. Leave me. If it's not what it's supposed to be, and I, yeah. I pray to God, I say, you know, take everybody away from me that's not meant for me, yeah. whether that's friends, family, uh, shorty sisters, anybody mm. that's not... For me, yeah, in my away life, from me. Get, get, keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Because yeah. I want my peace. Yeah, I definitely, I don't man. want my blood pressure high because I got to worry about what you going to do. Man, I ain't price. going to bed no more <laughs> thinking about what you going to do. I'm yeah. trying to sleep good because yeah. we already ain't sleeping. We in a pandemic. I don't yeah. know. How your sleeping habits been? Man, it's been fucked up still. Oh, man. I ain't going to even lie to you, man. I was going to get a new bed, but like you said, the beds cost so much. Oh, man. Nigga, you can't even get a pasta pee to go to Pespatina. Okay. Nigga, that I want my body on. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Nigga, I ain't, I, ain't buy, I ain't sleeping on 2700. I got to be able to drive that bitch. Everybody got to see 2700. Exactly. I ain't even lie, man. But, um, hell yeah, man. As far as that, man, um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy out here, man. Yeah. Why do you think people are afraid to get committed? I mean, I see so many people right now in relationships that's not in a relationship, mm -hmm. but they are committed to that person. Yeah. I, You know what? I think that, um, well, what? I'm gonna let you go on a women's this is Mother's Day. I'm gonna let this, this is Women's Day. I let you go first. Um, what you think? I feel like it's easier. I feel like it's easier not to commit because when you don't commit, you don't have to really. Although you have feelings yeah. and they're involved, you don't have to act on those feelings. Yeah. I feel like it's easier to walk away because you don't have anything invested. Yeah, that's real shit. And at the same time. I think that um, social media and all these different outlets play a big part in that because it's so much shit that you can get without being committed. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, can get, I get I get 
16 good mornings and good morning man answers. okay you know what i'm saying in my so on my inbox so it'd be like of my choosing so why settle down and be with somebody who's gonna bitch him on when i'm not living up to my potential and that's just being a kid and me and not being responsible but you know that's probably why i'm not in a relationship as far as just on that that aspect i am Absolutely. in a love circle you know what i'm saying i love the people that surrounded me but at the same time i understand why people don't commit because why would i commit and I know that it's 10 other people that's not going to give me the bullshit, that's not going to tell me where I'm mm-hmm. wrong at, not going to be a <clears throat> help me lead and help me build myself, just going to give me pats on the back. So that's why, I mean, you know, why haven't you committed yet? Mm. You have It's not a lot of quality out here, just a lot of quantity, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I don't want to settle. Yeah. I'm tired of women settling. I'm tired of seeing my friends feeling like it's okay yeah. to be or around somebody else's man. Like, that's not okay. Like, maybe God trying to tell us he ain't make no more. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you, my mother was a strong believer in teaching her girls and her and her son, you know, look, you don't have to be with that person. Yeah, you you can strong. keep it moving. You don't have to settle for something that one, it does not make you happy. Two, he's not really bringing anything to the table other than what he can give you in the bed. And sometimes that ain't even all that. Mm. But I just feel like I don't want to settle. I feel like um, you should want to be with me. Like, I feel like I got everything. And I'm not saying that because I feel like material things make a person. But I feel like, why wouldn't you want to be with me? (laughs) Because you the shit. (laughs) Thank you. Hey, man. Hey, man. But um, I think that um, as far as uh, commitment and things like that, I think that. We just got to understand that this work, this life is short, man. And do we want to spend it with somebody or spend it without somebody? You know, yeah. spend it just with everybody. Yeah. And um, when you find that person that found that, it's not it's not that it's not a lot of good people out here. It's just a lot of, it's, it's just a lot of interference, a lot of distractions out here. You know what I'm saying? Probably as far as trying to find a good woman or a good man. Yeah, because when we were younger, I think we used to try to play the game of being with everybody. You know, not mm. even being sexually with everybody that you want to be with, but uh, people see, love that attraction. Pull? Who yeah, can you pull? pull numbers. Who can you do this? And cheating <laughs> is so much more than physically yeah. being with somebody. It is. It, it is just so much more. I think that as you get older, you are able to... Um, Put every, put all your cards on the table. Yeah. Why wouldn't you put all your cards on the table? Why wouldn't you tell somebody, hey, this is the reason why... Um, because people take advantage of your feelings. So it's be hard to just be like, yeah, nigga, this the real me, and I want you to love me for me. And then they take advantage of that because people, when they see their, your insecurities and your flaws, they try to capitalize on that because we all have insecurities and flaws. So that's why you don't want to just open up to anybody. <clears throat> but when you try to find the right person... What's fucked up about that is it's, it's never the right time. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's never, never a right, right time. time. You really don't know who the right person going to be or how they going to come. We all had this thing in our mind where we think that's what it's going to be. But, you know, it don't be like that, man. It doesn't. Man. And, I, and I ain't mad at the process because I enjoyed the process for, for like, for now. I, I enjoy, you know what I'm saying, fucking women and having a good time and all that shit. But now that the next level that I'm in, as far as my manhood, it's like, damn, let me create this family. Let's get a house mm-hmm. in Costa Rica that the, all the family can go to. You know, just mm-hmm. different. not saying I'm born like that, but I got a couple of hours. You ready to go home to somebody at the end of the yeah, night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody to share your dreams with. Somebody to yeah. be like, you know what? But they gotta have common you. goals. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud yeah. of you. That's it, man. Yeah. And, and I think that's where we grow at. You know what I'm it saying? Is. And that's why I seen my growth because fucking hoes just ain't really fun to me no more. That was it was fun back in the day. We used to I used to yeah. run through them bitches, River Rock, nigga <laughs> legends. Y'all remember me? River I was a Rock. young legend out here, man. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, that shit ain't cool, and ain't nothing to just put out here. And I, I wasn't putting it out here to brag on it. I was giving the young guys a, a just a, a look into your future where you about to see you going to be alone, my baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And whoever going to be around you only going to be around you for what you have. So Absolutely. I just want a lot of young men to think about that, man. So I apologize for going deep on y'all, but I love y'all. Hell yeah. Right. Rita so, D kicking off the questions and shit got me going. This feel like a therapy session. I mean, fun. it's good, though. It's good. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's change it up a little bit. So, what type of summer is this going to be for you? Is it going to be a naughty boy summer or is it going to be a pandemic? Well, baby since summer? I've been in my love circle, man, I feel like that, um, <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do... Um, I'm going to chill. This, this going to be a, uh, a traveling summer for me and my kids, man. Something I ain't never... 
We ain't did. It's gonna. We're gonna travel. We're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna go see some amusement parks. I love you know, it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna chill. It. You know what I'm saying? And it's that. That's what I owe my kids. That you know. What I'm Shout saying? out to the so, kids. Shout hell out to yeah! But kids. am I gonna be a thought in the box? Probably not. But I want to. But <laughs> but you ain't. <laughs> I love it. Nah, I'm happy where I'm I love at in life and who who around me. So, I, Aww, cool. shout out to the love circle, y'all. Yeah, I love y'all to too. Love circle, man. So, what about you? How what kind of summer is gonna be for you? It's gonna be really chill. Um, it's gonna be really chill. I see you kind of forming a love circle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a minute. I, I, I kind of see it in your future. I see because you know what? Sometimes when yo when you when you when you, when you, when you bigger than a lot of shit. I don't know how to say it. You got a yeah, her 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 demeanor, her aura is so out outstanding that a love circle is the only thing that's gonna be able to keep you handle you and keep you grounded. What you think? I disagree. You Cause disagree? It, wait, is a love circle? What's okay? So a love circle consists surround of, yourself with love. I I got a lot of love that's it. around that's me. It. That's I got it. a lot of love around me. <laughs> However, I'm you know I'm not for the bullshit. Mm -mm. I am not for the bullshit. And y'all no gotta more. come correct at my sister, man. Y'all be coming, man, but don't come correct, <laughs> man. And she down to earth. Stop being scared and intimidated. We not gonna do that, man. Yeah, she not. a good woman, man. That's what's and up. Man, I think a lot of times when us men coming. Uh, let me ask you, as far as dating being a successful woman as yourself, and I know I asked this question one time, but I want to ask you this twice. <laughs> um, why, why, how is dating being successful, man, and being a boss out here? And, that, and this is me and you, this the Herbal Tea Podcast, you know, this is what it is right now. So well, how is dating, how can you, how do you differentiate, is that the word, what you... Dif differentiate yeah how do you differentiate <laughs> like lames to bosses and which way you want to go with it like would you fuck a lame if his sex was good or would you fuck with a boss if his ideas was good like how do you pick I, um mm. okay so for me sexually i gotta feel something for you i just mm. can't now i have not got to that stage in my life yeah where i'm just worried i'm busting it down yeah Shariana, I ain't got <laughs> there yet. But dumb, but dumb. right, I ain't I got there yet. Like I don't know. I might get there. However, I ain't saying I ain't no. I'm not yeah. saying I'm a saint though, y'all. Please it. believe I'm not saying that. Cause yeah. don't, I ain't saying that. Hey, no. But what I am saying is that um, I never really consider myself a boss. You don't think so? Um, you carry yourself like one though. Thank you. I thank feel like God, God has blessed me with so many things. Cause I got a praying mama. Cause Man. it ain't always she been me. She walk around like she own like three shopping centers. I ain't. That's how she walk around. <laughs> she do. Like, nigga, I got it. I bought it. Yeah, oh, you. My mama. You and your mama. Y'all both got that we bossy. Bossy. I don't know. I'm going. Cause you know what? We don't let stuff bother us no more. Mm -hmm. Well, she never have. I always did. I used to always worry about what what was or what could be or what if what was yeah. as i've gotten older you know it's gonna be what it's gonna be yeah. i have learned that it that that's how it's gonna be that's so true. i feel like listen that what's that saying fake it till you make it fake i ain't faking it but all i'm <laughs> but doing is it. i'm making it and i'm and and that's the thing people don't understand it we're all just trying to make it. it we all just trying to make it yeah. i don't want to listen we all work hard for everything that we have it's 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 hurtful when yeah. These people come into your community and steal your car or vandalize your neighborhood yeah. or come in your house. But Sharita, let me, let me, I didn't mean to cut you off, Rita D. You know what's the most hurtful thing is? When family and friends just think you just got it and they mm. they seen your path. They seen you where you was at. You know what I'm saying? That they, is very hurtful. But, 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 but when they ask you for something you say no, they take it as, oh, he being a whole ass nigga. Mm -hmm. But nigga, you seen when I was catching the bus. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't gonna yeah. sit up here and lie to nobody. I was working at a car wash catching the bus to Arbor Hills to a car wash job. Mm -hmm. I seen y'all pass me. Mm -hmm. And I still go on the block and buy weed mm -hmm. and buy drinks and let y'all drink off me. Because yeah. I know y'all, in some way, y'all love me for real or it may be illusion to me. Yeah, but don't, it's hurtful when but your friends when and your, your family. Friends and hurt, they don't, that shit hurt more than anything. Because man. I need people to understand that. Everybody is on the outside looking in unless they are in your immediate home. And even sometimes when they're in your immediate home, they still on the outside looking in because there's certain things that you don't share with them. I don't share a lot of time my struggle with people and that's not. Yeah. Growing up, we didn't really tell our business to a lot of people. No, you can't tell what's going on in the house. We could not. And so I guess <laughs> I've just grown accustomed to keeping my business to myself. Yeah. So a lot of times people feel like, oh, she got this good job. Yeah. She got a couple vehicles. Yeah. She got a house. She doing good. 
But guess what? You don't know yeah. if I just robbed Peter to pay Paul. Right. You don't you know don't if know my bitch. lights just right. got turned off and I was living <laughs> and at somebody. acting like I was somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. you don't Niggas know. Don't know people, nigga. That's what I mean. Struggle, nigga. That's what I mean when people check on your strong friends. Yeah, check man. Check on your strong friends because sometimes we not as strong. Listen. We have to be this way sometimes. We gotta be, man. We have to because guess what? We might be the strongest one in our camp and we trying to make everybody come up like Netflix. Yeah. Everybody got your Netflix hey. password. They ain't saying, hey, he go $5. No, no, no. Nothing. Because I'm guilty of it. I Look, I got somebody hey. prime passcode. I got yeah, somebody man. Disney. I, it, 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 listen. Yeah, man. And, I, and and that's real shit. It, and and I, I see why people that have made it and been great in life, they like, oh, I can't. I only fuck with this people. I can't go. You can't look out for air. You can't bring everybody you with you, man. You it's just not. that simple, man. Some people got to fall. Yeah, they got to fall. But you know what my problem is? I mm. can't stand people that use people. Oh, man. A user? And I was a professional user. Back if you would have caught me in 98 and you had you was a little big girl with a nice job, I'm about to run and use your ass. But you know mm. what that shit did? That shit made me pay for that shit in the future for our relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So being a user is definitely not cool. Yeah, you can. And they was really thinking that I loved them, but I looked at them as like like a like I was a predator. Like I'm about to get this bitch for everything and keep it moving. And wow. that, and that's fucked up on my behalf because I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm that looking is. at it as a survival. You know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. You want to apologize to the ladies that you mistreated? Man, fuck too. them. They knew what they was doing you know nah. what <laughs> nah, nah I want to apologize to y'all yeah. man yeah. hey but yeah it's cool yeah. but I definitely want to apologize to y'all cause I definitely didn't mean no harm I'd have had I mean I had ill will ill intent but at the same time I didn't mean to hurt y'all so if I did do you wrong I definitely apologize and uh man shit you know that's what it is that's what's up that's what's up so let's get into Rita's D corner Rita, Rita D, uh, hook up. I don't know. Rita D's read. Rita D's read. That's what we calling it today. This is the Herbal Tea Podcast. <laughs> I am your host, Uncle Dub. I'm here with my co-host, man, and we definitely rocking it out. So this is Rita's D read, where she talk about something that's on her mind. All right, so this week, Rita D's read is, since it's Mother's Day, I felt hey, like this was a, so shout befitting. Shout out to the mothers. Shout out to the mothers. Once again, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I feel like I see these women out here, and they building their brands. They become entrepreneurships. I'm so proud of y'all, ladies. Y'all patting each other on the back. I don't know if it was the pandemic for us to come together and stop hating on each other, mm. but all I am seeing on my timelines, and I am so ecstatic about it, is hold your head up, sister. Yes. We got your back, sister. You looking good, sister. Now, we going to compliment you like yeah. we ain't going to compliment nobody else. Polka dot, you go, hey, girl. Hey. We going to look at you. We going to say, hey, boo, you better drop it like it's hot. You better wear them shoes. Polka she, dot, nigga. Polka dot. <laughs> what up, though, polka dot? What up, though, pinky? Because she got on the pink shirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we out here. Hey, what man, up? Building the queens, baby. So, I just want to say, like, I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all building up the queens. Ain't nobody hating. This is women encouragement and win, yeah. women empowerment. Uplifting. So, shout out to all the women out there. Yeah, man. Definitely shout out to We do women not have to hate there. on each other. We no, can okay. say something nice. Man, hey, give a compliment. You, you know what can. I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with giving something to somebody. Hey, man, that shirt look nice. Yes, that lipstick is banging, boo. <laughs> I love them neon nails, honey. You know, just anything. Yeah, Make man. somebody feel good. You don't never know what nobody going through. You no. never know about these stories. You know what? And I think that what you had said something earlier about going through shit and you can't tell nobody. And I think that's a part of therapy. I know Charlemagne on the Breakfast Club, they be kicking that mental health shit. Mm -hmm. But on some real shit, when you can't tell nobody what you're going through, that shit will leave you stuck. Like, damn, like, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? It's like you hiding your, you know what I'm saying? You hiding the way you really, your life really is. And yes. you can't be honest with nobody. And I got stuck like that. When I first started, I got, got into logistics, I was really perping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, was, I, I had a lot of money, more money than I thought I was gonna ever make but I didn't have it where, I, where people really thought it was at you know what I'm saying and mm -hmm. I had to bag back and get a self check myself right. and sometimes we gotta self check and self inventory you know what I'm saying sometimes you know what I'm saying we be we be trying to live in the moment so much that the moment just too, is, is living in us you know what right. I'm saying and that shit really and um, I just want to shout out to the people that really stuck with me and just got me to this next level. And um, I appreciate where I'm going, man. And Rita D, like she said, man, we definitely going to uplift the queens, man. Yeah. So 
So that's what's up, man. So what's going on with this week, Rita D? What are we going to do with Herbal Tea Podcast? We're going to get this page going. Uh, We're going to get this page going. going on. Merchandise, everything. Yeah, man. Listen, we about to show out, man. I just, tell y'all. I need everybody to understand that everybody can do it. Just because one person got a clothing mm. line doesn't mean that the next person can't have mm. one. Just because somebody selling juices don't mean that other person can't sell smoothies. Just somebody is got sea moss don't mean that you can't <laughs> buy from somebody else. Just understand <laughs> that at the end of the day, it is enough for everybody out here. Yeah, is. God is going to bless you behind closed doors, and then he going to eventually open those doors once he understands or once he sees that you can understand that you are going to be the one that's going to walk through it, and anything that he gives you, can't nobody else take it from you. Yeah. So we don't have to hate on nobody else. And I just want to say this, man, before we get to our last segment after this. Racism is a competition for wealth and resources between groups of people. So don't so get in the race, babe. Get in the race. Get uh, in the race. See, the whole thing is what they try to look. What they try to do is make us look at. They try to keep us poor people so separated and everybody going against each other. I think we need to start coming together more. Start building your tribe more. Start being more involved. Like me, man. I, um, being in, more involved in my kids, man. My son is liking football, which I'm trying to get personal with y'all. And I don't want him to play football. Being honest with you, and uh, he loving it right now. So it's all about building your tribe man and then we gonna worry care about everything else man so definitely that so anything you, else you gotta add miss rita d i don't have anything else all right well let's what this is, <clears throat> this is the last part of the show we shout out a black business um we like to keep it black on black ran black money through this black community um i definitely want to give a shout out to everybody that's listening man definitely anybody that want to talk come on the show man definitely look at us look us up um go ahead and get your black business out what we gonna do what we i'm doing? going with 1016 candles on sb look them up www.sb 1016 candles mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Early Bird Club Garment Company, man. It's my cousin, Trill Trill. You know, that nigga's a real nigga, man. But um, I ain't going to say he a real nigga. He's a real entrepreneur. He's a real king. You know what I'm saying? He definitely got the early bird. I had it on yesterday, and that's why I was just telling Rita D in the hallway. I'm like, Rita D, we got to get us some merch on this motherfucker because people hit me. Like, y'all got the shirts. Y'all got the... I'm like, man, we ain't got shit. We just really starting back up. But we trying to get y'all this shit more on a professional level. But he got the early Bird Garment Company where they got shirts, tees, hats they about to come with the flip flops and they definitely gonna do that man and we definitely gonna push that man and um, any last words from you Miss Rita D everybody just remain safe Understand that we're still in a pandemic. Understand to also put your mask on. Understand that six feet social distancing <laughs> is a must. I'm so tired of people Definitely standing in back that. of me when I'm at the <gasps> bank. Niggas be, yeah, nigga, Ugh. get your ass away from me, nigga. Right. I don't care yeah, if you're vaccinated man. or not. Stay away. So definitely, man, um, I want to give a shout out to Brooks Media, um, King Brooks Express, Brooks Group Global, you know, them the companies that I have and that I'm affiliate that's pushing it. That's the engine behind this. Um, we definitely want to give a shout out to the people that's watching. We hopefully the room going crazy, man. We just got up on our own page. So hopefully we're going to get it going. But you can follow us on YouTube. At Herbal Tea Pot Podcast, P O T Podcast by Brooks Media on YouTube. We're going to get these videos going. We want to thank y'all for supporting us, man. We want to thank y'all for fucking with us because y'all don't got you on a Sunday, man. And, if, and we just start with one viewer, nigga, and work our way up, nigga, because that's the line of this shit is. But. We just come on here just to talk our shit, man. So we want to thank y'all to all the beautiful black queens out there and the poor and missing fortune, the, the, the ones who don't have no money. Holla at me, jump in my inbox. I may make. I got a way you can make a couple dollars. It's you not a I'm diet, saying? it's a lifestyle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dub be tricking for the Ricky, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, you know. But uh, no, I'm just talking shit. But uh, yeah, hit me. Um, I want to shout out to Jess, man. She couldn't make it today, so we're going to figure that out as uh, far as that. But hopefully everything that she got is going good and uh, we definitely gonna be happy positive Mother's Day, that, Jess. Man. happy Mother's Day to Jess man and um, we wanna say Herbal Tea Podcast man we just getting better we just trying to build this shit this shit is organic we building this shit from ground up I want y'all to follow us and hopefully we find an NFT where y'all can invest in us so this shit can go out for, for when we make sales y'all can make sales when we make money and sell our NFTs y'all can make money too Herbal Tea Podcast we definitely out we love y'all you don't have to start to be great but you have to be great what up y'all know what I was saying fuck yeah. All right, we are. <laughs>